One day, OS and I were fighting Pokemons in a lucid dream. It was a tough battle, but we caught them all. Then someone familiar showed up, and I was like, are you here to help us catch Pokemons? Make one more joke and I will erase you, human. Maybe in the next life you have more respect. I'm here because you two have been summoned to appear in court. In court? What did I do? You wrote in your book of life that you want to be separated from your other self, and we heard. But I did didn't write. Oh no. You are almost waking up. I'll pick you up tomorrow and you better not keep me waiting. Oh man, I had never been in court before. This was bad. So I asked Mia Vo what to do if one day I was wrongly accused and called in court. And she was like, don't worry, a lawyer would defend you until you are proven innocent. A lawyer, eh? So if dream courts are like real life, then I was safe. But I was too scared. He didn't mention how he would pick me up. So I was hoping he wouldn't come in a spaceship and abduct me like in movies. At night, I didn't wish for a lucid dream. It would be better to just have a normal sleep. And besides, I can never lucid dream when I'm anxious. Well, I guess that night was an exception. Because as soon as I closed my eyes, I heard a voice inside me asking me to hurry. And then I felt like my head was getting bigger and bigger. My body went numb and started vibrating. My heart was beating at an impossible rate. I opened my eyes and I was already inside the dream without ever losing my consciousness. And guess who was already there? Follow me. I tried following him but he was going too fast through strange paths. He kept yelling, hurry, hurry. Seconds later, I was in the center of a room and there were strange creatures all around me. He is here. Finally, let's start. I told them I needed a lawyer. Your guardian is the one who should defend you, human. That's right, I'm the lawyer and my client pleads guilty. No, I don't. Quiet, guardian, start. Sorry for being late. His other self is affecting his human experience. He's giving him knowledge that can make others think he's crazy. OS said he never answered me any question. Quiet. Then they started talking in telepathic language I couldn't understand. It felt too fast. I could get some ideas out, but it was very confusing. From what I caught in their discussion, OS and I were a spirit divided in two parts so that one would retain the memories while the other would be born and then vice versa in a repeating circle. A male and a female, but we were both male, so I didn't understand all the details. Then suddenly they stopped talking and they were all staring at me. We're waiting for your answer, human. What's the question? I told you he won't listen. So I started to cry. Let's vote. I don't know who voted what, but all I remember is that they tied. Six were in favor of OS staying with me and six were against. It's a tie, which means his guardian should decide. Good. I vote for his other self to go back to sleep. Please record this in his book of life. Librarian, we need his book. He has the book. Give me your book, human. No. <sighs> I don't like taking things. This book is encrypted. Let me see. Mm, it's Gaia's key. I can hack it. No need. I'll go talk to her. I'll keep the book for now. Let's go, human. I'll take you back to your planet. I'll chase them. Take his guard into our healing chamber. I'll stay with the human until his guardian recovers. No, 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 no. Wake him up. I woke up, but it was still in the middle of the night. There was too much to remember, so I quickly started to write it down in my dream journal as fast as I could. Years later, when I moved to Canada, I was told to burn that journal and I still don't know why. But at that time, it was still very useful to help me improve my dream memory. During the day, I was worried about OS leaving me. He was still there to calm me. But he could be gone forever at any moment. We had so many good moments together, it would be very hard to see him go forever. Forever. Then one night, I had another lucid dream, and my garden was healed. I was watching you and your other self together, and I've decided to let him stay. For now. But if he stays for too long, he will rust, and you two won't be able to become one. This is not his time. One day, you need to let him go. Not today. Huh. Other humans might think you are crazy, but not us. I wish you peace and light. I got the key. Too late. Ciao.
Yep, he's crazy. Thanks for watching my video. In the next video, I talk about the day I travel to a world of darkness and suffering. If you like this video, make sure you check out my other videos, which are very similar and you'll be able to better understand what's going on, hopefully. Don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss my future stories. Thanks for being nice, bye!